Hello again, minions. Welcome to another Wheezy's Weekly Wrap-Up. We're going to go over what you missed on the channel this past week, and we're also going to talk about FPS games are kind of my bread and butter, but this is Wheezy's Gaming, not Wheezy's Shooting. So let's talk about some other games that you might be interested in seeing me play, or I might be interested in playing. Let's go talk about it. All right, so I was gonna start out by saying it's been kind of a light week, but it did start off a little bit slow, but I ended up with four videos on the channel this week. So let's go ahead and, and go over what was on the channel this week. And uh, yeah, the first thing that I got posted, um, as part of it being kind of a little bit light on not getting as much content I created over the past weekend, was I started off the week with a short. <laughs> um, I've been excited about this one since I captured the gameplay. It's from the How to Deal with Annoying Players in Modern Warfare video. But it's my 10,000 IQ grenade short. And so here is that in its entirety. All confirmed. I'm almost at it. Kill confirmed. So yeah, sometimes geometry, it does, it does, it, your, your teachers are right, you'll, you'll use it someday, just not maybe the way they think. Um, after that, much later in the week, I did a stream, kind of impromptu, um, where I was like, you know what, I've got a couple of hours, which is not a thing that I have a lot of uh, <laughs> these days. Um, I was like, you know what I want to do is I want to play some Battlefield, but what do I want to play? I want to play. I want to play old Battlefield Five, Battlefield One, Battlefield Four. But what do I want to play? And I was like, I will play all the Battlefields. So I did like a almost two and a half hour stream where I played Battlefield Bad Company Two, Battlefield Three, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield Four, Battlefield One, Battlefield Five, all one after the other. Um, kind of an interesting concept. I I wasn't sure how it would come out. I pulled it off okay, although with it being streamed, the, the quality is not the best even with 15 megabits per second upload through uh, Xfinity is just... <sighs> but anyway, it's worth checking out. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So here's a clip from that stream. They're like over here, huh? There. Hey, I got a kill. This is one of those servers where it like gives you a ton of XP to unlock things because this game's what, like 11 years old? It's not trying to make you live that grind life. Oh, I just got saved by someone. Come on. Uh, what? Auto balanced. Okay, all right, great, thank you. At all. The game's almost over. I think they're winning. No, we're winning! Da, 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 da. New personal record. Best assault, 10,633. Is that true? In all the time I played Battlefield, I'm a level 109. That's my best ever assault round? I mean, okay. Yeah, so that was like my first stream in a while. Uh, you can, I haven't decided <laughs> how often I'm going to be streaming because the, qu the, the quality of the streaming is something that bugs me. And I have pretty beefy internet now. Um, but I don't know. Streaming at 1080p is probably where it's the sweet spot for my internet connection. I could put that probably about 6 to 7 megabits per second. Pretty solid. We'll see. I'll have to figure out how my standards of quality versus the advantages of live streaming, especially as my channel is still growing, I, I get like nobody at my live stream. So I might as well just live stream 
and record it locally and then just upload it because that's when most people are going to see it anyway. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, after that, I kind of did that because it was the day after I had done the live stream. There was a live event for Warzone where they were doing the Call of Duty Vanguard reveal as part of a Warzone live event. And I was like, you know what? I was like, should I stream that? And I was like, no, all the big creators are going to be streaming theirs. I don't want to compete with that because I can't. <laughs> um, but I'll play it. I'll do it anyway just because I haven't done a live event. And I had it worked out that I had time in my schedule to do that. So I recorded it, kind of live commentated it like, it's a, like it was a live stream sort of. But recorded it in good quality locally and then rendered and uploaded it. So that's actually interesting to watch. And it actually made me a little bit excited for Call of Duty Vanguard. So... Here is a clip from that. Uh, I thought I thought that was I thought that was higher. Uh, nailed it. Kill me! Do it! Kill me harder! Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. He's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You've got a reserve shoot for a reason. That's pretty nuts. Don't get hit by a plane. Oh, wow. I mean, if it's gonna be a decent World War II campaign, that might be worth it alone. Yeah, so I, I got to, I blew up a train and then a flaming guy fell out of the sky. It was fantastic. Um, and then after that, Part of why content was, in my mind, a little bit slower this week is I actually spent a couple of nights um, producing a new uh, 101 module for Wheezy's FPS War College, Enemy Engagement 101, which is a module um, that builds off of the first two that I've released. So I've released um, Map Movement um, and Situational Awareness. And so I believe the next logical step along that is Enemy Engagement, so this focuses this builds on the first two, but focuses more on direct gunfights with the enemy. Um, breaks it down in, in easy to understand concepts, but good detail. Um, it's definitely worth a watch. Uh, Wheezy's War College is, is and will be cornerstone content for this channel. Um, obviously gameplays and stuff like that and random games and stuff is fun, and I'm going to continue posting that content, but helping teach things... <laughs> My how-to videos and Wheezy's FPS War College are a big part of what I really love doing on this channel. Um, so you can expect to see more of that. So here is a clip from that new module of Wheezy's FPS War College. So one of the main things, or really the primary thing I like using grenades and explosives for is defeating enemy cover. So as I've recommended that you use cover when you engage the enemy, you will run up against skilled enemies who do the same. Unless you're a great shot with like a sniper or they just, for whatever reason, are using cover, but when they start taking damage, don't protect themselves. Um, grenades and explosives can be a great way to land it in behind cover and either flush them out or just kill them while they're behind cover. So primary usage for grenades and explosives, in my opinion, should be defeating cover. This goes for launchers as well, grenade launchers, RPGs. Whenever they're not specifically designed to counter vehicles, you want to use those to defeat cover. So definitely go and check those videos out if it's interesting to you. Um, I got links for everything as usual. So let's talk briefly, because it's more a question than a conversation. I'll start with the questions you guys can answer however you choose here in this video or whatever. I, you've seen probably, if you've seen the channel, you look around. I do play random games here and there. I do a lot of FPS games. It's it's what I love. Like I, I like a lot of different genres of games, but I really love tactical shooters. Um, but that's kind of the core of my channel. That's not the only thing that I do. And actually my rough outline for how I try to post content to the channel is my goal is to post one piece of kind of random other content each week. So like I did Microsoft Flight Simulator. I did Gang Beasts with the kids. Um, I'll just kind of pick games here and there that I'm playing around like part of that when it's like single player stuff I've started offloading to Wheezy Storytime although I haven't posted to there in literally a couple of months now but um, games like Horizon Zero Dawn Returnal when I'm playing those single player games Assassin's Creed Valhalla I started offloading those off to that channel just because it didn't really mesh with the Wheezy's you know core channel content um, which is about I, I 
which is why I updated my branding for my new kind of like uh, logo, if you will, not really a catchphrase, but kind of a motto, like a mission statement. Have fun, play hard. Have fun is first because why are you playing video games if you're not enjoying yourself? And then play hard as in you're not gonna have as much fun if you don't win, <laughs> right? If you're not doing well. Um, so my channel is like a, a lot about that. So having fun, playing random games is part of that. Um, so anything that's fun that I like to pick up, like what, I mean, it's a shooter, but I did the Back for Blood beta, Flight Simulator, just looking at what's through there. Um, you know, just stuff like that. So what are games that you guys would suggest I do that I can do kind of bite-sized pieces like that? I'm not necessarily gonna be able to meaningfully get into something huge like a Fallout or a Mass Effect, like one of those like big RPG games. I kind of avoid those even though I know it, I would enjoy them because I don't necessarily want to get sucked into a game like that, especially when I end up spending usually hundreds of hours on uh, FPS games with Battlefield 2042 coming out, um, Halo Infinite, maybe even Call of Duty Vanguard. I don't necessarily want to get into a giant RPG that's going to take 300 hours. Um, but I'm not opposed to it either. So what is out there that you guys would like to see a little mix, content mixed in? Um, is there a genre, specific games? I'm hoping Alien Fireteam when it comes out um, I'm going to try and decide whether or not I want to pick it up. I think I'm going to because I just love Aliens and I'd love to support the franchise regardless. And then hopefully find some people to play it with that aren't just randoms. Um, so if you're interested in playing Aliens Fire Team, let me know. And it's a three-player co-op shooter, so that could be fun just to kind of kill some time, random content from that. If you guys are, even if you're not that new to the channel, I did videos on, on what, Alien. There was an Alien game several years ago that was a, a class-based shooter where you could be the alien, the predator, or a marine, which was actually really good. I posted one or two videos of that game. I didn't play a ton of it, um, didn't, you know, but it was fun and it was actually good. So those, I did post those videos. I think I posted one of each class probably actually. Um, but that was literally what, seven years ago, six, seven years ago. So yeah, other things that I really enjoy as far as like my go-to genres, like games like Assassin's Creed, I kind of fall into that genre of sort of like like open world, not quite RPGs. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm working my way through, hopefully before the sequel comes out. Um, Last of Us, like I like the story-driven games like that. Um, Uncharted, one of my favorite series of all time. Um, stuff like that. In addition to, I love racers, Simulation racers mainly, Gran Turismo and Forza um, are my go-tos. Um, I mean, they're just, the, especially on consoles, they're the ones to go to, but I don't really post much content from those just because they're kind of like sit down, do a race. I don't have a whole lot to give on that. Although maybe for simulation racing, who knows? I'd like to start a series and I'm, I should say, I'm planning on starting a series. I am going to take my daughter, Evie, who is about to turn 13 and I'm going to start training her to drive using Gran Turismo license tests, which in Gran Turismo Sport, the newest one, they don't call them license tests anymore. They're like called challenges or whatever, but it's the same thing. So I am a big believer that part of the reason why I am as good a driver as I am today is because when I was very young and I've grown up playing simulation racers since literally Gran Turismo 1. Um, and there's a lot you can learn from simulations, right? My dad was a flight simulator instructor. He trained pilots to fly airplanes using video games, using big interactive simulators. Um, so there's a lot of it. So I'm planning on doing a series with Evie where I teach her to drive using Gran Turismo. So hopefully I can, she's playing soccer all the time. Hopefully I can steal off some time to get her to start doing that and start, start recording and uploading some of that stuff. I'm gonna start her off with a controller and then eventually buy like a wheel and get like an actual setup and like get her on an actual like car setup. So before she turns 15 and a half, before she turns 16 and can actually drive, she's gonna know how to drift a Ferrari around Laguna Seca. That's my goal. So anyway, leave your thoughts. I'm, I'm getting on another weekly wrap up ramble, but let me know what random games you guys wanna see, what stuff sounds interesting to you. Um, same thing if, you know, if there's shooter games that you want me to get into, let's do that too. I, uh, one of the free to play games that ended up on PlayStation plus, I think was like one of the, f was it not fallout borderlands, like borderlands something like I played that for a little while. That was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop now. Thanks for coming to another weekly wrap up minions. 
I'll see you guys next time.